Hello students, today we are going to read Heartbeat by David Yu. It starts on page 191 of our textbook. My nickname's Heartbeat because my friends swear that you can actually see the pulse on my bare chest. I've always been skinny. Everyone assumes I'm a weakling because I'm so thin. I prefer lean and mean or wiry, despite being a three-sport athlete. I decided to do something about it this fall when Sarah, the girl I have a crush on, said, oh my God, you're so skinny. She was visibly repulsed by my sunken chest as I stepped off the soccer bus after practice. I silently vowed to do everything within my power to become the after picture. I was 16 years old, but looked like I was 11. For the rest of the fall, I did countless push-ups and curled free weights until I couldn't bend my arms. I got ridiculously strong and defined, but I wasn't gaining weight. I wanted to be thicker. I didn't care about getting stronger if nobody could tell. I did research and started lifting heavier weights at lower reps and supplemented my meals with weight gainer shakes, egg whites, boiled yams, and tubs of cottage cheese. I forced myself to swallow the daily caloric intake equivalent of three overweight men and still wasn't able to increase my mass. I have a ridiculously fast metabolism. Over Christmas break, I cut out all useless movement like ping pong and staircases because I'm like a sieve. The 83 calories in a mini Snickers bar is moot because I waste 90 chewing it. I returned to school in January depressed because I was still heartbeat in everyone's eyes. I constantly weighed myself. At least once an hour, no matter where I was, I'd find a bathroom so I could take off my shirt and flex in the mirror for a couple of minutes. I was so frustrated that nothing was working, but the frustration didn't last. I was sitting in study hall two weeks ago when Sarah said the magic words. Have you been working out, Dave? You look bigger. I couldn't tell if she was being sarcastic. I went home and inspected myself in the mirror. I did look bigger, but then I realized the reason. I'd accidentally worn two t-shirts under my rugby shirt that day. It was just an illusion. I was futilely stuffing my face and religiously pumping iron and failing to alter my appearance. And now I'd stumbled on the simplest solution to looking bigger. I felt like I was reborn. I went to school the next day wearing two t-shirts under my turtleneck. I felt solid. By the end of last week, I was wearing three t-shirts under my rugby shirt. This Monday, I tucked four t-shirts under my plaid button down. It gave me traps that didn't exist. My Q-tip sized shoulders transformed into NBA grapefruit deltoids. I could tell my classmates subtly regarded me differently. It was respect. Sarah gave me a look I had never seen before as if she felt safer around me. I was walking down the hallway at the end of the day and must have twisted awkwardly because suddenly my zipper literally exploded and all my t-shirts spilled out of my pants. Luckily, the hallway was empty and I was wearing a belt. I realized I had artificially outgrown my clothes. My button downs were so tight that a few seconds after jamming the extra layers into my pants, the pressure would suddenly bunch the cloth up in random places so it looked like I had a goiter on my shoulder or something. I complained to my parents over dinner last night. I don't fit into anything anymore, I said. It reflects poorly on you guys. You could get arrested. 
what are you talking about? You look the same as always. You're still my little boy, my dad replied, putting me in a headlock and giving me a noogie. I glared at him. I need a new ski jacket, I said. It was true. I could barely clap my hands with all the layers I was wearing. I was getting out of control at this point. The four t-shirts under my wool sweater were smushing my lungs together like a male girdle. It was a small price to pay. Nobody called me heartbeat anymore, I reminded myself.